not fun. This is not cool, bro. They really out here to decapitating animals. The Haitians, they are taking ducks and cutting their heads off and taking them home to eat them. I want out of this town. I am sorry. Please give me a reason to stay. Is Ohio turning into a nightmare for its residents? or worse, for their pets. The once quiet town of Springfield, Ohio has found itself at the epicenter of a chaotic storm. A storm fueled by surging Haitian immigration. And the accusations? They are as chilling as they are shocking. Claims that Haitian migrants are eating the pets of local residents. Yes, you heard that right. Eating. Dogs, cats, even ducks. The Haitians, and I'm not saying all of them, but some of them are literally like going to parks, you know, how we feed the ducks or whatever. They are taking ducks and cutting their heads off and taking them home to eat them, um, to cook them and eat them. They've been doing this to dogs. They've been doing it at a Snyder Park with the ducks and the geese. Social media is ablaze with these allegations. It all started when an Ohio woman, Alexis Telia Farrell, was arrested after brutally killing a cat and eating it in front of horrified neighbors. Senator J.D. Vance, who had earlier raised the alarm on illegal immigration, was quick to react. Reports now show that people have had their pets abducted and eaten by those who shouldn't even be in this country, and he's not alone. Former President Donald Trump echoed this outrage, claiming during a presidential debate that illegal immigrants are eating the dogs and cats of Springfield. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country, and it's a shame. And even tech titan Elon Musk added fuel to the fire, writing on X. Apparently, people's pet cats are being eaten. Let that sink in. And now the internet is flooding with memes. But this time, it's not just for laughs. Some posts are going so far as to call on Americans to vote for Donald Trump in the upcoming election. The reason? To save the pets of Ohio. Yes, the memes paint Trump as the only one who can stop the alleged wave of pet abductions by Haitian immigrants. What started as a political debate has morphed into a viral frenzy, with these memes mixing dark humor and desperation. As a town struggles with chaos, fear, and uncertainty, not fun. This is not cool, bro. They really out here to decapitating animals and y'all are making jokes out of it. Imagine if you went outside and you saw your you saw your dog's head decapitated. Like, are you, dude, why, is, why are you thinking it's just a joke? It's not a joke. I don't feel comfortable walking anywhere. Like, I should be able to feel safe in my own city. Everybody's out here. Hey, shit, but Scary ass Haitians is lurking and creeping and shit. Y'all thinking this shit's a motherfucking fight? Like, he making this shit up. It's not made up, bro. This shit is real life. This shit is really affecting me. Like, what the But this isn't just about pets, is it? The residents of Springfield are living in a dystopian nightmare, as they describe it. A once peaceful town of 58,000 people has swelled by 20,000 Haitians since the pandemic. Crime is up. Car accidents are up. Social services are stretched to the breaking point. Imagine living in a town where cars crash into homes, where chaos reigns on the streets, and where people fear for their animals' lives. Is this the America we want? We are is a city that only wants our safety, security, and sovereignty back. Our food pantries, um, they, they get stripped. Our, our clinics, which is Rocking Horse, is a federally funded clinic in town. Um, their budget was decimated. In Haitian, clinic means hospital, you know. Our emergency rooms are overrun. Um, of course, nobody's being compensated. Our roads are like, it's like escape from New York and everybody feels like Snake Plissken. Um, you don't know if you're gonna get from point A to point B without getting run over, run into, or, or have a SUV flip over in front of you. These Haitians are running into trash cans. They're running into buildings. They're running into, uh, they flipping cars in the middle of the street. They're in the park grabbing up ducks by their neck and cutting their head off and walking off with them and, and eating them like. Republican Senator J.D. Vance calls this a drain on resources, while Governor Mike DeWine and Attorney General Dave Yost are urging the federal government to step up and stop this flood of illegal immigration. But what's being done? Residents have raised their voices. They've gone to city council meetings demanding action, but the silence from Washington is deafening. The questions now stand. Is Springfield, Ohio becoming a new battleground for America's broken immigration system? Will the government continue to ignore the pleas of its citizens? 
as their town crumbles under the weight of this crisis? And how far will this chaos go before someone steps in? I understand they're here under temporary protected status and you're protecting them and I understand that our city services are overwhelmed and understaffed, but who's protecting us? If we're protecting them, who's protecting me? I want out of this town. I am sorry. Please give me a reason to stay. Ohio is calling for answers, but is anyone listening?